Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do what's cracking reading. Um, thank you so much, I'm so grateful to have you all on my side, um, especially when I've sort of been a bit erratic of late. Um, it may still happen that way for a little while till I get myself established, but as long as I've got the time I'd love to do the readings. So, alright, um, in terms of personal readings, I'm now only open Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I'm pretty sure I may have some time this week, but it would be next week um, at the earliest, probably. Um, and of course, Wednesday, Thursday, I have to fit all my own stuff in too. So, all right, let's have a look and see what's going on in the What's Cracking world. Oh, we have the Emperor coming straight out. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, this energy this morning isn't, isn't so great with this Emperor. I'm feeling a little bit like some of you may be dealing with an energy of could be a person it could be representing something bigger than that but it just feels a little bit tacky like you may be dealing with somebody who isn't above board or isn't true to who they are let me just go but it just feels a bit weird all right I have the judgment card coming out after that okay with the seven of cups Okay, let me tell you here, we do have the sun here and I do have the hierophant after that. So there's quite a lot of major arcanas and the king of wands. All right, I feel like some of you may be dealing with somebody who's not being entirely truthful with you or is not representing something the way it should be represented. I've just got this feeling that this person is either selling you a fantasy or... Um, not really being true to who they are. Now you could be dealing with an Aries here um, and it could be a person. However, it might not necessarily be a person. It could be a situation that's looking a certain way and it's very different to the way it's looking. So let's get deeper into this. I do feel that you're going to work this out for yourself. You're going to turn your back and walk away from whatever it is. It definitely feels this energy of really understanding that perhaps what is being presented to you is not what you're seeing. But I sort of feel this is a good thing because maybe it's teaching you to look a little bit further into things or not to take things on face value. All right. All right, so we have the Empress coming through here. Interesting, after having the Empress straight up, I have the Magician following, wow, so many major arcanas with a Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like somebody or somebody around you is being manipulative. There's no other way of seeing it. Um, it could be a male or female. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a person that's, met, that's selling you something that isn't what they're saying it is. Um, I feel like somehow or another this is helping you to maybe understand people a little better. Now, I always think, you know, when we're sort of in that energy of people pleasing, we want to see the best in people. So even when people are sort of, you know, users or pushers or whatever else, we tend to sort of try to see the best in them. And I don't think that's how you're seeing it here. Like, to me, this makes me feel like you're starting to understand how to work people out or starting to see their genuineness or perhaps just seeing that people can be manipulative. You know, sometimes when we're sort of dealing with people, you know, we may not see that side of them for a while until we're sort of really locked into a situation or whatever. So that's the way it makes me feel. But this magician even makes me feel a little bit like somebody's sort of playing games with you or not really being true to what they say. I feel that it feels to me like either somebody is going to say or do something that makes you look further at this person or this situation or somebody's going to give you a heads up. It sort of feels to me like for some of you, this could be in the workplace, it could be a family member, and it could definitely be somebody that you're maybe getting quite close to and quite comfortable with, but maybe you're not seeing, you're seeing something about them that you need to. Look at this justice card coming through. There's a lot of, and look, death. There's a lot of feeling here that this is going to be a major life lesson and the moon. Now, I say to people, there are five major arcanas out of seven on my table. 
Something is being revealed to you that's going to make you change the way you see either people, situations, things. Maybe you're going to get a bit of an epiphany or a bit of a wake-up call and you're going to see things for what they are. It's like the mask is being removed and there's some sort of karmic energy sort of moving away from you. So it's like you're starting to see something for the first time. And maybe you've had the wall pulled over your eyes. Maybe you're dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothing. It could be any one of those things. But whoever this person is or whoever this situation is or whatever, it's going to really wake you up to something. I don't think you're fooling yourself. It's not that sort of energy. It feels manipulative to me. Let's just take it. Look, High Priestess coming out. Three of Pentacles, life lesson coming through here. Big life lesson for some of you, and I have the Wheel of Fortune right at the end. So on the table, I have three, five, six out of ten major, seven, sorry, seven out of ten major arcanas. And I think that there were quite a few in the beginning here with the Emperor, Judgment, the Sun, and the Hierophant. So you have nearly all the major arcanas in this reading. How's that? Okay, so the way I'm going to just put some more cards on here because I feel like I need to dig deeper. This emperor to me feels a bit tacky, a bit tacky, especially with the judgment card coming there because I feel like you're going full circle on something and leaving something behind. Seven of Cups tells me you're being sold a fantasy. The Sun card here with the Hierophant says to me that somehow or another you're coming out in front with this card here. I do have the Eight of Pentacles behind that, so I feel like some of you may be dealing with somebody at work. Um, or dealing with somebody that you're working for. You know how sometimes we sort of get really hooked into somebody being so clever because of the way they word things, they always say they can talk the talk, um, and then one day you think, wow, they just don't do anything, you're probably picking up half the work for them, um, and they're getting all the accolades. That is the sort of energy I'm getting. If this is a relationship that you've just started, I want to say to you, really observe really watch what you're dealing with. I feel like somebody's trying to sell you a dream and it may not be. So remember narcissists or narcissistic people, people with narcissistic tendencies can sell you a relationship very, very early in the piece by promising you everything. They'll tell you that they're in love with you after a week. They will tell you they want to marry you and spend the rest of their lives with you. If somebody's doing that to you, they're love bombing you. Remember that. It isn't real. And that's what it makes me feel like. There is some sort of life lesson here because you have the three of pentacles. The really strange part is I have the high priestess with the wheel of fortune over the, at the top of that. So, But the death card and the moon card really tell me that there's something within you that is going to change as a result of this. So maybe because we did that bit on the cycles, I think yesterday, it might be that you are starting to see that cycle or you're starting to see the kind of person that you seem to end up with. Um, I always say people used to say all the time, I used to say, how do I attract? You've got the Ace of Pentacles coming through. How do I attract these people? And I remember somebody saying to me one time, you don't actually attract them. They sort of pick you. Um, they can see it. They can see your face. They can see your genuineness, your tenderness, your empathy and you can see it in other people when you look at them there is sort of this energy of it's almost sometimes angelic with people where they're just so untouched or unfazed by things and it's a beautiful innocence that people have that can often be abused if you are dealing with a person here strong Scorpio and Aries energy coming through a little bit of Pisces energy um, but strong. I just want to put a few more cards over this Wheel of Fortune. All right, so I have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Four of Cups. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I do feel like for some of you here, you may be dealing with a relationship where somebody is selling you the dream. Um, it could be somebody who appears to be good partner material they may be talking about what they own what they have this person's really selling you something and i quite honestly feel like you're either being taken in by it or you're not seeing what's really going on 
And to me, the energy here is that there is a major life lesson coming through for you here. So it may be when you start to realize how to put two and two together, which is what we do. You know, you go away and you think you've, you know, thought this person was absolutely amazing and then you start to realize that they're, perhaps their words aren't adding up or maybe they're a little bit controlling or maybe they follow, which I think is a really clever sort of narcissistic trick where somebody may insult you but then follow it up with I'm only joking or, um, or, or something. It's sort of like they, it's, a, it's like they backhand compliment you. But somehow or another, I feel like you're going to see something this time. You know, if you're online dating, be really careful at the moment. Just be really cautious of what you're dealing with. I always say to people, if you're unsure, take that photograph of that person and put it in the, put it in the uh, search engine for uh, catfishing. See, so many people get catfished. All right, so I have Yang and Peace coming through, and that's what I feel that's happening here. There is some sort of balance you're bringing back to yourself by understanding how to do things differently. Now, Yang is the first card in the deck. And it's the card of action. Let's just see what it says here. The masculine principle, movement and creative active. The power to make things happen. So I almost feel this reading comes off the back of either the one I did yesterday or one that I've done recently. Um, and it's really about taking action on something, manifesting something into its true form. Yeah, perfect time to act. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There's no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. So somehow I'm thinking that taking action is going to bring you peace. So maybe you've been dealing, what number is that one? Maybe you've been dealing with people for a while who have been leading you astray. Maybe you go through still with this childish sort of or childhood sort of innocence, um, believing that people are who they say they are without sort of, you know, listening to what they say, without watching what they do. And there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of those videos out there now where people can actually fake who they look like. So just be really cautious. Um, this is freedom from attachment and radical acceptance. So I feel that freedom from attachment, you may have had a lot of relationships that sort of, oh my goodness, without getting in too deep, um, where you've developed attachments to people and it's really difficult to sort of let go. Um, sometimes, it, you know, I hear people say, but I can't let them go. They may get hurt or I may hurt them. And that's all codependence. So without getting too deeply into it, it may be that you're recognizing your own codependence or recognizing your need to be loved. You may have a love addiction, maybe an attachment, um, an attachment thing. Um, the way to peace is through radical acceptance. So you've got radical acceptance in both those cards. So please, whatever this is, be cautious. Make sure you're checking people out. Don't be taken in by things. Listen to what people are saying. Um, if you're unsure, I always say Google them. <laughs> um, be careful if you're dating online that you're not being catfished. Um, be careful if you're dating someone in person or you're dealing with someone. It may not necessarily be dating. You may be dealing with somebody in person who is um, not really got your best interests at heart. So I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Thank you.